last one of Battle Rock Galaxy is going to be Top Maniac and the Top Man Tribe. In case you don't realize, there is going to be a lot of top enemies in this one. Well, that's kind of obvious, like that critter right there. Yeah. To kill those top enemies, all you have to do is spin at them and uh, spin, make them spin into an electrical current, and that'll kill them instantly. Um, avoid this mole here. This wait, is this a rocky wrench? I think that's a rocky wrench. Are you gonna throw something at me? Maybe that's not a rocky wrench because it's not. Oh, it is a rocky wrench. Okay, why why wasn't it throwing wrenches at me anyway? Anyway, kill this rocky or not, or you can just use these sling stars. Um, I forgot how to kill those rocky wrenches because they're pretty quick actually. Uh, come to think of it, so go to that sling star and completely ignore what I said there. And this thing is going to move forward, so just carefully move between these uh, mines here, and you shouldn't have any trouble getting to this next sling star. And the next planet I go is the first top planet here. Uh, and as I said before, all you have to do is just spin them right into the electrical current, and that'll make it make uh, the electrical field also disappear, but also kill it at the same time. Jump up on here, you'll get a, a star mushroom there, very handy. You know you always want to get those star mushrooms if you find them, especially since they're temporary, but they're so helpful. Uh, but they're not necessary, just very helpful. And the next area is right over here. Um, you, you can just ignore this rocky wrench over here. Uh, just break apart this crate here, there's a pipe, go down that pipe. You'll appear on the inside here. This is like a gravity room. When you hit one of these things, it flips the gravity around. Yeah, that's a pretty cool concept. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is a side-scrolling level. That is so awesome. And I'm not going to be able to get all those star bits. Dang it, I should have timed myself better there. Ah, dang you, star bit addiction. You made me lose all focus and, and, and screw myself up. Oh shoot, don't fall in the lava. Lava is hot. Hot lava, don't touch the hot lava. Okay, there we go. And spin to hit this thing. There we go. Collect star bits. Yeah, star bits. And, oh no, I didn't want to hit that. Maybe I could flip myself up there. Oh, that works. That would have been a nice shortcut if I would have just did that. Unless I couldn't have done that. So, I didn't really notice. Uh, don't let yourself uh, be at the top of these things when they're all the way up at the top like that. Uh, because they'll make you restart what you just did there, uh, due to the gravity. It'll push you back into the other gravitational field, and you don't want that. Oh, no. And be careful of those red ones there. Um, those red ones will squish you. Uh, as you can see, they got caution red tape on them. That's, uh, that's just to warn you that they are death there. Just saying there, uh, avoid this guy here, but you do have to get up to the top. Well, I mean, I should say avoid his attacks. Oh, shoot, I wanted to jump on your head. And then he turns into a screen. Um, before when I touched that guy, and he was, and he didn't shoot any lasers out, uh, that's because I got to him too fast before he shot any lasers out. So then you end up on this weird elevator, and you gotta hit these guys into the electrical like that, and, uh, one of the electrical fields will stop, and then you gotta hit the other one into it, and then the other one will stop. Just like so, and the gravity will change for whatever reason. Just block yourself. Holy cow, I blew up the whole world! What have I done? Make yourself sling star over here, and you got some sinister music going on here. You do not need... Um, there's a Luma over here, this one right here, um, if you feed them 30 star bits, if I'm not mistaken, yeah it is, you can buy, um, uh, a, a life shroom or, a star shroom, but I don't need eat. I didn't mean to do that, I can't click out of it now, dang it, I might as well get the one up then, um, you could either get a star shroom to increase your life, or just a one up, so I might as well just get the one up, dang it, I waste 30 star bits! Well, I won't do that again. I just wanted to show you guys what those guys are all up to, so to speak. And uh, now we go into this weird arena here with electrical and metal and all sorts of stuff. You would think that electrical current would run through the metal floor, but apparently that is not the case. Jump on top of them and spin them into the electrical uh, currents on the side there. That's how to defeat this boss. This is probably one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. Especially if you're not afraid of jumping uh, on top of enemies. Oh shoot, unless unless they stop you, but... Oh no, oh no you don't. 
Oh, he's in a re Oh, well, that's okay. Just jump on him again. Yeah, if you take too long, he'll get his spikes back on the side or whatever is current on his side. And then uh, he'll be uh, able to hit you again, but otherwise, you don't have to worry about him whatsoever. And that is Next Star. Woo! A new galaxy has been discovered in the fountain. So I shall save my game to be safe. You can never be too safe. So let's go to the next full star here. I should say, uh, oh man, I could do a Daredevil one right now, but I don't really feel like it at the moment. So let's just do these side galaxies here. And let's go to Rolling Green Galaxy. Um, this will be the first time that you'll encounter this. Just saying here, um, it, you're, what you'll be doing is you'll roll, be rolling on top of this weird glass ball with a star inside of it, and the object is to get the star to the end. Uh, there's the end right there where that flag is. How do you get, get over there? Well, I'll be showing you. And listen to the music. Mario 3 Remix, baby. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it going, Billboard? What's up? Aren't you Billboard? Yeah, you're Billboard. Sure, I'd like to hear about that. Okay, I'll jump on the ball. Yeah, you got to go through this little tutorial here. Um, hold it straight up. There you go, just like that. And that's the basic position, as he said. Tilt, uh, move the ball in the direction, and press the A to jump. Yeah, you can smush it. So, yeah, it's a pretty simple explanation there. Whenever you want to slow down, just pull back on the control stick. It's pretty much just like a joystick. So if you ever used a joystick and played like a game like Marble Madness or something on the NES, you shouldn't have any trouble knowing how to control this. Uh, in fact, it should feel pretty natural to you. Um, you can take like side paths to get... Oh, Star Bats! Star Bats! Must get Star Bats! Yes! Risky Star Bats for the win! Obviously, this is not hard to do because, as you can see, I'm taking all the risky paths here, and I don't have to be doing that whatsoever. Um, the only trouble is you can't really point at star bits easily while trying to control this um, because you have to have this thing straight up at points to control it. Um, just thought I'd mention that. So you usually have to collect star bits by rolling into them, and that's the end. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty pathetic, wasn't it? Pretty easy. No worries whatsoever. Now climb up on top of that pole and grab that star. What is what does that pole say anyway? I mean, what is that? It looks like a golf course or something like that. I, I shouldn't say what does it say. I should say what does it look like. It looks like some sort of golf course. So I guess I was golfing. I was Mario golfing. Woo! The next one is going to be this question mark galaxy here. What's it going to be? It's going to be the Hurry Scurry Galaxy. Um, see all those little green platforms on top of it? They disappear. Oh, boy! Yeah, and in the center of that planet is a black hole. Double oh boy! Uh, and what you want to do on this planet is collect musical note bits. Um, it's pretty easy to do, actually, despite how, how, what you would expect. But it might be pretty difficult to do for a beginner or something like that. Just saying. How's it going, Nerdy Toad? Uh, oh no, it does fall away. Yeah. Um, you can also cheat this by just long jumping across it if you're courageous. I'm um, just saying there, and you can get that one up over there and long jump across there. This, it's not hard at all. Oh no, it's dangerous. What am I going to do? I'm going to get coins, that's what I'm going to do. And now a bunch of notes will start appearing on this planet here. So try and follow that note path there if you can. Um, it's not that hard to do, just keep following it and jump across any gaps that you see along the way. Um, a fun thing to do on this uh, here is to try and collect all of the um, platforms, or I should say use up all the platforms. I like doing that, it's, it's quite fun to me, but uh, because it'll waste a lot of time in this walkthrough, I'm not going to be doing it. Um, but if you want to show it off, do so in a video response, that'll be pretty fun. So yeah, just let yourself fall. Uh, once you get all those notes, because a star appears in their place, and there you go. The star will be yours. Yeah, it's it's actually not all that hard to, to touch all those platforms on there. You just have to plan it out correctly. So I'm guessing that does it for this part, so I'll see you guys in the next part. The galaxy is complete! Woo!